Welcome to another edition of Swim Easy Speed. Uh, today, my name is Tim Floyd, uh, longtime swim and triathlon coach. Today, we're going to be covering um, another one of the freestyle uh, fundamentals. We're going to add a new one in today. So this is freestyle fundamentals number five. And this is on the kick, the dreaded kick for triathletes. So um, I, we'll just go over kind of the kick. Um you know, what the mechanics of it look like, why it's important, and um, that'll be it for today. So here we go. We're going to start out. So here is just kind of um, the kick. You know, you the one thing you want to be aware of is you want to get, you know, you want to get some bubbles right there. A lot of times I see um, athletes that, you know, they, they're way too low in the water, and they're kind of kicking, you know, down in this area with their feet below the surface. You want to get your feet up on the surface um, and kind of making that, you know, the bubbles, the froth, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, you want to get the hips up on the water, shoulder. So you want to be, again, trying to practice being as long and flat on the water as possible. Now, one of the things that's going to get you, and here's kind of some swim coaches would disagree, here's what you're going to get with the kickboard, okay? Especially if you try to get long on the water it's going to force core engagement, okay? And it's going to force core engagement while we're recruiting another another muscle group. So it's going to drive that neuromuscular connection that we're trying to get, as we've talked about in previous videos and other analysis that I've done. Um, you know, we're trying to get the core to really, really engage. We're trying to get the upper body to connect to the core. We're trying to get the lower body to connect to the core. And then the core is going to connect all of it together. And that's where the efficiency in the water is going to come from. Um, and, you know, look, it's one of the things that I see as uh, one of the contributing factors of why triathletes um, typically struggle with kind of that body position in the water where they're really angled down, their back end is down in the water. Um, it, it's because the you can tell by the way they're moving their legs, uh, just the way it looks, that it's not connected to the core because they've never done it before. Um, so unless you're just going to go with, hey, I'm only going to be in a wetsuit the whole time, um, then by all means, pull the entire workout. Uh, don't worry about the kick. Um, but even then, you, you have to understand you're going to be giving up some efficiency in the water because the kick, even a two, really efficient two-beat kick, can provide some stability in the water, put a little bit more tension and pressure on your core to engage and connect everything, connect the entire stroke, and then provide you that additional stability to allow you to really kind of translate the pull into forward momentum, really efficient, effective forward momentum. So here was kind of from the side. Um, the next view we're going to get uh, is overhead. And there it is. And so, again, you know, what you want to think about is, you know, really, really straight line running right down the middle of the body, okay? Um, with this, the one thing you want to think about is, you know, the, you, you're going to want the feet pretty close together, almost where those big toes are kind of touching or grazing one in, uh, another every now and again. So uh, we'll back this up a little bit. So here it is kind of at full speed. And then we're going to go we'll back it up and we'll put it at slow-mo so you can kind of watch it a little bit better. So you can see the, the leg is fairly straight. Um, you know, you want the, the knee to be um, soft so you can translate everything that you're generating from the hips. goes right down the leg um, and, and kind of creates almost like a whip at the end. So, you know, here we are kind of underwater from the side. Um, you know, so you can see the legs coming up. Whoops, back it up. You know, and here's where it's really, really important. So you can see kind of how pointed that toe is right there. Um, you know, we've got a lot of point, a lot of flexion, trying to get as much as possible so that when we have that impact right there, you know, you can see that the foot is really, really pointed. Okay, toe is really, really pointed. So you have that, 
you know, really great surface making contact with the water and, and getting a really great grab on the water and propelling us forward. Um, you know, the, the thing you can see also is you want to be aware of not only kind of that down kick right there, but also the up. So you should feel it kind of on the bottom of your foot and trying to put pressure back on the water as you pull the leg back up. Um, and then, you know, at the end of the day, just stay nice and relaxed. But yeah, um, if you want to get better at swimming on the overall, um, throw in some good kick sets. You know, some of the best kind of distance programs in the country traditionally have spent like about 20 to 25 percent of their total volume on the kick. So um, there's a reason they do that. Uh, but yeah, as always, thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe below. You can find us at SwimEasySpeed.com or follow us on Instagram at uh, SwimEasySpeed. Uh, thanks again for tuning in.